Well, I guess when you talk about river running today versus back in the day of Norman Neville's, there's obviously a lot of similarities. You have to have a sense of adventure. No matter how much you sanitize this trip commercially these days and how safe it is and how great the food is and how easy the living is with your inflatable mattress and your cot and your hydration system, you still have to have a sense of adventure to come down here. There are rattlesnakes, there's spiders, scorpions, there's rock falls, there's floods, there's things that could happen that most people would say are unnecessary risks in this sanitized day and age. So there's that similarity. You have to have some money. Obviously, Norm Neville's back when he was running, one or two people on a boat versus the 15 you can crowd on one today. You know, the expense was high, and, and even today, you know, to come out here on a nine-day vacation or whatever, you know, you're dropping a couple thousand dollars. So you had money, you had a sense of adventure. Some of the big differences, I think, are that, you know, one thing reading through the notes is that no one ever talks about the food back when they were running these trips in the 30s and 40s, which means to me that food wasn't very important. As long as you had some, that's all that mattered. You were down here in a beautiful place and, and survival was, was a given. You're going to eat. Nowadays, people are eating prime rib. You guys are making ice cream on day 18. I mean, it's outrageous. Sometimes one of the first comments you get from a river trip, people who've been before was, oh, you know, our guys were awesome. They did this stacked Dutch oven thing. You know, and the bottom was lasagna, and then they were cooking some sort of souffle we were gonna have for breakfast, and then on top of that was a dessert. And you know, there's there's no hardships now. That's for certain. When we move the plates, I'm gonna take the crib crib out. Of course, this is just enough food for the five of us. Um, normally, back in the real world. We'd probably have three of those for the five of us. But down here, we kind of go light, uh, you know, if you will, and uh, make do without to enjoy the grandeur of this Grand Canyon. And uh, this is what we have to you know, suffer with tonight, is a paltry, what is that? Uh, how many pounds we got there, Brent? Uh, it's 18. about uh, five and a half pounds. Yeah, you know, just a pound a piece. And, um, Obviously, we'll all be feeling, you know, a little hungry after dinner, but uh, I can complain 